I'm David G. Sheshnag.com. What on earth is Kundalini? This video is dedicated to my dead best mate, Brock. He came out with a quote once that said, It's so indescribable, the best way to describe it is not to describe it, because describing it wouldn't describe it anyway. There's another quote, someone said it. Not this, not that. So if you can describe it or explain it, then that's not the divine and that's not the true nature of the human being. Of course you can't describe it because it's an experience. When you get to that depth of experience, that subtleness, you can't actually validate it like you can the physical experiences of life. Like some of the rational experiences of life, some of the more evident moral virtues that most people embody which are similar for most people the experience and direct realization of the divine universality of the human soul is so indescribable philosophers have talked about it for years there's people out there that whether it's been a thousand years ago two thousand three thousand years ago whether it's 50 years ago doesn't really matter people are talking about it it's hard to embody or understand their teachings without anything to do with your own experience that backs it up you need knowledge and experience to form wisdom around the experience to me I've chosen to acknowledge and represent my experience relative to the oldest known language on the planet the vibration broken down into the subtle body of the human framework, vibrating at a frequency and wavelength that has been interpreted as the Sanskrit alphabet that resides in the channels and the nadis within the subtle body called the Linga Sharira. Why do I choose that? Because it's one of the best ways to describe it. It doesn't describe it for everyone because even though it's the oldest known language, even though everything to do with yoga is designed to affect the subtle body or the etheric body, not many people understand it. There'll be people that understand it. There'll be people that don't understand it. There'll be people that fight against it. There'll be people that can't be bothered with it. That's all cool. In some ways, at least it's malleable. At least the evidence is there. Yoga works. All the philosophies are written, all the, unless some dark forces go in and remove all the Sanskrit from the planet, all of the knowledge is there written in the holy books in the Sanskrit text. To describe it, that's one of the best ways. To understand it, how can you understand it if you don't really have that cognitive faculty? Who knows? Experience the divine in your own way live it from the heart, be nice to people, good luck with it, the quote, it's so indescribable, the best way to describe it is not to describe it, because describing it wouldn't describe it anyway, there you go Brock, wherever you are, <laughs> Om Namah Shivaya, what on earth is Kundalini, peace, Sheshnag.com. You subscribe if you want.